Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. I'm Jeff Cornwall and this is The Entrepreneurial Mind. Today my guest is Jason Grease. We're here to talk about his business, Fu Manchu. We'll be back after these words. We would just like to offer that if you call our office and schedule a procedure um, that's completed by June 30th, we want to offer $500 off the surgical procedure if you mention Talkopolis. Welcome, Jason. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate so, um, you and I first met, I think, when you were just getting your business sort of conceptualized. And, and uh, uh, talk a little bit about your, your original vision for Fu Manchu and what you wanted it to become. Uh, yeah. And, and kind of why you saw this as a, as a niche. So, I think I first met you uh, when I landed here in Nashville back At in Bongo uh, Java. Yes, yep. in 2010. I yep. moved up from Atlanta. And uh, you were helping me uh, with some networking and so forth. Yep. And uh, Fu Manchu originated in uh, late 2011. I was uh, I just exited out of a healthcare company in Atlanta. Family and I had moved here to Nashville, and I was down meeting with a. Uh, so you went from healthcare to Asian food. Yes, but before healthcare, <laughs> I had a supply chain company with operations in China. Uh, so that explains a lot. Yeah. I've uh, okay. dealt with uh, Chinese business owners for uh, quite a few years. Right. And. Um, Fu Manchu was not my original idea. I was down meeting with a partner and a friend and a colleague, a uh, gentleman in Atlanta who was a board member of the supply chain company that I had in Atlanta. His name's Price Harding, very active angel investor and uh, uh, business owner in Atlanta. And I uh, was meeting with him uh, one particular day, uh, just brainstorming business ideas. And I said, Price, I'm just chomping at the bit to get the next business going. This was late 2011. Right. And he uh, said, you got any business ideas? And uh, Price said, uh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. I have a whole list of them. And the first one was Fu Manchu, which wasn't called Fu Manchu at that point in time. And uh, Price, uh, mid-50s, uh, empty nester, travels all the time. He said, Jason, there's just a real need for a brand and an online ordering capability for Chinese food. I laughed. I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, it's so different than uh, things that I've done in the past. Right. Anyway, it didn't take me long. I was looking for something that had a large, fragmented, underserved market. And, right. Um, Price brings kind of the idea. classic roll-up strategy. It really except is, except without not, without the ownership, without the ownership right. uh, piece, and that's uh, kind of what I was looking to do, honestly. And uh, looked at the market and uh, figured out that Chinese food in the U.S. is a twenty billion dollar market, and uh, so it meets the large criteria. And there's forty five thousand Chinese restaurants nationwide. It meets the fragmented very criteria. Fragmented. Yeah, there's very few national brands. And then we all know the stories of uh, you know visiting uh, your local Chinese restaurant <laughs> or being uncomfortable uh, right. with where you order from, and you know the, it's it's an underserved market. And uh, we uh, we developed Fu Manchu to kind of be that that brand and that e-commerce platform that sits over the top of the uh, independent restaurant owners and uh, brings that to market for them. So so the the gentleman whose idea it was is he still involved? Oh yeah, in he's an investor, okay. great friend. In fact, he was just up in Nashville last week. Because it's uh, kind of like a you know, the songwriter has to give some credit to the people who gave the the lyrics. Uh, yes, it's, I'm it's the operations and... <laughs> type of guy. He's <laughs> right. uh, always got these ideas, and uh, it's a good match made in heaven. So uh, yeah, we uh, we launched the business officially in January 2012. Business has gone through a couple iterations, and um, you know the first generation of Fu Manchu was basically an online ordering company for Chinese restaurants, about 50 restaurants uh, between Nashville and Atlanta in our network, uh, consumer focused. Uh, we were getting orders. Uh, we had that up and running, uh, that platform uh, in uh, last year in 2013. Um, we looked for something to really differentiate ourselves. Uh, we didn't just want to be an online ordering company. There's already online ordering companies out there that right. are very horizontal in nature. And um, uh, with a little bit of luck and some strategy, uh, we figured out what our secret sauce is. And um, we developed the, the brand uh, with uh, also a, a catering component built into it. But also we developed our own menu with our own pricing structure and promotion structure. And Generation 2 Fu Manchu, which is what's going live right now and is uh, coming up to speed quickly is a, a different structure. It's really uh, almost more like 1-800-Flowers.com for Chinese food. You know, if you order your, your bouquet of uh, uh, right. flowers, uh, 
it gets delivered by a local florist. Those local florists are hand selected uh, by 1 800 Flowers. So you've we gone do the from same being thing. a back room kind of service for these restaurants to really front end. Front end. Yeah. And uh, how have they responded to that? It's very good because uh, these restaurants, they already have, some of them already have online ordering capabilities in place. And um, you know, we wanted to really differentiate. So when we start talking to them about large catering orders and being part of a brand with packaging materials and and uh, really being part of something that's a national brand, um, they get very excited about it. And the fundamental aspect for us is we qualify all these restaurants. So if I take Atlanta as an example, I know that data best. There's over 550 restaurants in Atlanta, uh, Chinese restaurants right. only. Um, we put them through a strict qualification process, health department scores, consumer ratings, and based on our criteria, and, and probably being consistent in terms of flavor and and, and to a certain to, level to the to the because you have a, a, a we have a set menu. menu. Yeah. Uh, it's our menu. We contract with those restaurants. To in some ways, it's them. like quality control with a franchise. Yeah, yeah. you know, it re it's a franchise type model mm -hmm. system without being a franchise, right. Uh, right. essentially. Um, so, uh, of those 550 Atlanta restaurants, 180 meet our criteria of being potentially qualified. We're going after about 40. We can cover the Atlanta market, uh, or Nashville would be about 30, uh, 20, 25, 30, 30 restaurants. We can cover the whole market with that. And then what we do is uh, we really partner tightly with them, uh, so we drive large catering orders to them. So you're doing a lot of uh, marketing to business and, and for business luncheons and things like yes, that? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, large accounting firms, law, legal offices, Vanderbilt, Emory, uh, Georgia State University. So, so what's your sales model? How do, you, how do you reach out? How do you reach all those large For the clients? catering sales, we have a direct sales model. We have uh, sales reps on board, so uh, we call on these uh, large uh, professional service type organizations as an example. And uh, it's it's interesting. It almost sells itself uh, because you know they're they're telling us uh, we're tired of pizzas and sandwiches right. and barbecue, and we'd like something different. They would never dream of calling their local Chinese restaurant. So we provide the sales, marketing, customer service, technology component. The restaurant's good at cooking fresh, tasty, piping hot food. So we take their food coupled with our front end, manage the customer relationship, and it's a, it's a, good, uh, it's a good marriage. And then who does the delivery? Is that the, the restaurant does. The restaurant uh, does that too. But it's interesting, you know, they cook really good food, but then where they tend to have problems is on-time delivery and service. Right. So we have to train them. You know, that's my background. Uh, that's what uh, we've done for years. Uh, so we train them in how to deliver on time and how to, you know, set up a buffet line, uh, uh, how to uh, take care of the customer and those types of things. So we're asset light. Uh, we don't want to be owning any uh, restaurant assets and uh, they, they handle all the uh, the back end aspects. What, what a fascinating uh, example of a business that has gone through some significant pivots and yet still kind of true to what you wanted to do. Uh, you've really listened to the market and, and figured out what they really need right. and want. Right. Yes, we have. And, uh, you know, I think I think having that kind of flexibility and that kind of openness to the marketplace instead of going in with this is what they need uh, is going to serve you well. Right. Congratulations on Thank your you. success and look forward to hearing uh, more about this in the future. Excellent. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.